Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm working on this Logan 6560 again. I've been slowly over the past year and a half um, going through the lathe and making improvements to it even though I still use it all the time here in my shop. Um, what we're doing today is reaming the tailstock. This is a Morse Taper 3 tailstock. And if you look in there, I'm gonna get a light and show you so you can see better. You can see that this taper is pretty worn. And every once in a while, depending on the operation I'm doing, I will have the drill chuck or whatever's in the tailstock spin. It will slip and sometimes it just slips a little bit, sometimes it'll completely spin in there. And it's been an ongoing problem. It doesn't happen all the time, but I'd like to try to improve it. So what I've done is I have picked up a set of Morse Taper 3 reamers. And we're gonna use this reamer to clean up this hole. We're not looking to take a ton of material out, but we are looking to make an improvement. So my setup for this is I have put a dead center in the spindle. That's gonna guide the reamer. And we're gonna use the tailstock quill to keep some pressure on the reamer. Not a lot because I'm not, again, I'm only looking to take away some of the burrs and high spots in there to get the taper to function good again. I'm not looking to really remove material. So we're gonna set this up. We're gonna use some light hydraulic oil as a fluid, uh, just to kind of clear the chips and we're gonna see how it goes. But before I do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some dicum and just put it in there and take the um, reamer and do one very uh, light pass and then see where it's contacting and how much of the dicum is left. That'll give us an idea on what we're really facing here as far as damage. Dicum's dried, I got the reamer in place. I'm just gonna try to hand turn it. Like I said, I barely put any tension on it this time. Okay, I'm gonna back her off and let's see what she looks like here. Okay, the situation is worse than I thought. So I'm contacting about maybe an inch and a quarter down in, and then further down is clearing in the back. Now this confirms something I was thinking about already with this machine, because if you see on some of the tooling, where it has spun before, it's only contacting on a few areas. So I'm gonna have to actually take off more material than I'd hoped. You know, I was hoping there would only be some higher spots here. So let's keep going. I wanna give a few comments about how to do this because um, I've seen some other techniques where people are just putting the uh, reamer in a chuck, sometimes in a three jaw chuck or four jaw chuck and they're turning under power. I do not recommend power reaming this with the using the headstock just because you're gonna you're not gonna be able to have a hand feel to see what you're taking off. It's gonna be a very crude process, and you want to be supporting it with a dead center in the spindle. You want that to be you want this to be as true as you can to the machine. Now, there's other things you can check on your tailstock before you do this. You could put a, a dead center in the tailstock dead center in the headstock, and you can run a dial test indicator off the tips to make sure that your height's correct. You can shim the tailstock to make sure that it's in line with the spindle. These are just different, there's other things you could do if you use your imagination to test to make sure that your tailstock is in line with the machine. And I would do all that before I get to the reaming process. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna get it in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more tension on it. We're gonna add the hydraulic oil and we're gonna take off more material. Very light pressure there on the tailstock, enough that is supporting it. Now let's just make a couple turns. Okay, a little bit more tension.
one more one more pass here you could call it and then we're gonna back her off clean out any chips and I'm gonna repeat this process I like the way it feels so we're making pretty good progress and I'm gonna continue like I said to stop and check stop and check but I'm now contacting a lot more surface area especially way down in but you can't really see it here um, it's coming out good let's keep going and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep turning and you notice I'm, I'm not having to use much strength at all to turn this which is good because then I'm not I'm not trying to force the reamer in any direction I just add a little bit of tension lock the quill and now it's a little bit tighter still I'm not exerting a lot of force and I'm going to continue to do this probably for quite some time here because this tailstock has worn a lot more than I anticipated okay I'm gonna stop here because I don't want to risk taking out too much material the problem is if you take out too much material you see now it's contacting though in a lot of the uh, tailstock. However, if you take out too much material, I'm gonna show you how this one will seat down in there pretty decent. But look how far it seats in. It's all the way up to there. If you enlarge the ID of the hole too much while you're reaming it, you're gonna have, these are gonna to wanna to seat in further and further back because the diameter here is smaller than the diameter of the reamer here. And you don't wanna do that. So take off the minimum amount. This is gonna hold better than it did. It's obviously not gonna be as good as a brand new tailstock quill, but it's gonna vastly improve the amount of surface area now that's holding on the taper. And I think it will improve it. So take your time with your machines. Sometimes with these old machines, you can't bring them back to mint condition. Um, but you can improve them and still get many, many hours of service out of them. Or like this one, you can make money using these. So, hope this helped. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you're going to try this on your own or if you have tried it, what were your results? Please remember to like these videos and to share them with your friends. And click subscribe below.